Hello, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, how are you? I am going to do a reading for you oops, for the month of April 2017. And what I'm going to do first is pull from this Oracle deck. This is from Doreen Virtue's Ascended Masters. And we're going to take that card and use it as a guidance for the rest of the reading. Sort of a theme for the month. So let me pull your cards here. And this is going to be a little bit um, of a different spread. I'm not sure if you've been checking out my weekly readings. But this spread is a little more in-depth um, sort of action steps that you can take to get to your desired outcome or your goal, which for this month is going to be to meditate. Now, I, this is the Buddha himself. I know as, you know, I have a lot of Scorpios in my life, and I know that you're 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 a deep soul and you don't have a lot probably a lot of trouble meditating but what i think we're going to focus on and we'll see how the reading goes is how can you um either get to the next level in your meditation or start a meditation practice Make sure you stay steady with your meditation practice. Whatever it is, we're going to focus on you as a Scorpio and what meditation you know can bring you, what, what it is, in, how it fits into your life. Okay, this spread, like I said, it's called the, the Flying Bird. And this card here is the point of takeoff. It's your liftoff card. So this is the, the starting point. And I love it. I love it. This is the card of friendliness. This is an emotion card. And this talks about, and this is really um, a, a really good card for you as a Scorpio because it talks about these two trees. They're very close, you know, very, very um, planted, very close in proximity to one another. And if you see one's a yellow tree, one's a pink tree, um, at the point that their leaves meet, it's sort of a little blurry. They become one. It turns into orange. However, they always stay rooted in their own space. And this is a really good um, starting point for you when, you know, because in focusing on your meditation practice or focusing on, you know, your self care is what it really is, this is a good starting point. Because always making sure you are, you know, rooted in your place, yet still very open to collaborate with others. It's a good, it's a nice card. The second card here is this point, and this is called the fear of flying. So this is the one card that could block your progress as to making, you know, coming to your desired outcome. Oh, it's the card of sorrow. So... Hmm, I wonder. Some of us sometimes when we begin a meditation practice, it, it actually brings up buried things that are buried in us and it could make you actually literally feel sad, um, which is okay because moving past that, look at that, you're in touch with your source. You're more in touch with your source and that source is the core of who you are. It's your higher power. It's what you call your soul. It's what you call your God or your Buddha, or your Allah, whatever you look to as your guidance, which, um, you know, for the purposes of this reading is actually your innermost spot. That's the point that you are trying to um, navigate and allow to come out through your meditation. So let me recap really quickly. Focusing on the self, focusing on um, practicing, you know, um, being more in tune with yourself, releasing thoughts that don't serve you, which is what meditation is. During the month of April, Scorpio, you're going to make sure you start out at a place where you're really very rooted in, in your space, in the space you take up on this planet, spiritually, physically, all of it. But not shutting others out, staying open, staying 
reaching you know across those aisles or or closing gaps between you and others because that is where that's where your spirit lives and plays and that's where you can have the most potential to grow your spirit and stay in touch with it um, as long as you don't I would say you know I kind of passed over this card quickly but I would say that your one block is to um, be too much in your mind and when we are too muddled with thoughts or we're trying to think our way through things, it could really create a loneliness and a sadness and a, and a sense of loss because you're not really present. If you're too much in your mind, you're not in this moment. Um, if you can avoid that um, sort of mental mind game within yourself, you'll be more in touch with your source and the core of who you are. And that will allow you to... Um, just, you know, stay on track this month as far as, you know, being in touch with your meditative practice or whatever it is. If you're, if it's a daily prayer, um, you know, once in a while shouting out to your angels, whatever it is. The next card in the line here is guidance. So following this source card, you know, opening up that core of who you are and really being in touch with it and allowing it to come forth, it's going to help guide you in your outer life. Um, Sometimes we think that thinking our way through is the best way because you have a problem, you want to tackle it, let's figure out how to do it. Well, I'm saying that for this month, Scorpio, and it won't be too hard for you to pull in because I know you like that, you know, that deep, deep, deep place within you. Go ahead and tap into that this month. Use that guidance. And be aware of contrasting energies in your life day and night, good and bad, up and down, you know, we're, we're, life is full of contrasts, always, you know, every single day turns into night, right? But it's also necessary to have those seemingly opposing forces and, and learning to master the integration of it all and accept that it's all part of the natural flow, it will help. And it will help you, of course, in your meditative practice because um, staying open and aware to all the changes and all the little curves and bumps along the way that come in our lives. That is what life is. And that will allow you to just be more accepting of what is, especially while you're meditating. And look at this. The path to your outcome is this card called existence. This tells us that Home is wherever you are. It's wherever you are. In this moment, if you're standing on the beach, that's your home because that's where your soul is seated. If this, in this moment you're in a noisy classroom, that's your home right now. And, and be present and, and take it in and, and learn from it. Um, and if we can master, if you can master these steps... I love it. The outcome of this is you'll have more of a sense of participation, more of a sense of community. I know sometimes, Scorpio, you like to be the lone wolf and you like to pull in and just kind of, you know, tuck away from everything. But you will, you do also gain a beautiful sense of community when you just open up your heart and who you are. So through your meditative practice, focus on the balance, that, that, that um, really important balance between sticking with who you are, knowing yourself, and being open and sharing with others. There's, it's possible to do both. And I know that you can achieve that this month. Um, remember that you, know, you can't get it wrong. You cannot get it wrong, ever. Um, life, you know, you never get it done. Life is always happening. It's always coming. And if you make a decision and you don't like it, the next one's coming and you can make another one. So try not to, um, you know, this would be your biggest sticking point here is if you felt a sense of loss or, you know, I'm not sure if this means maybe a sense of loss of privacy for you. If you're, if you're being guided to sort of open yourself up to others, I really doubt that. I think that um, I think that you know you're being guided to stay in the moment, and meditation is exactly that. And it, it's also telling us to shed, you know, shed thoughts, whether they're unwanted or wanted. 
um, shed them or actually just be the observer of them. If you've um, got a pretty good meditation practice in place already, you know what I mean. And, um, you know, just be, be in your space. Be, you know, trust your, trust your guide, trust your inner self, be where you are in every moment, accept opposing, you know, seemingly opposing um, energies that are coming at you because it really is all okay. And you will end up with a sense of, of closeness with others, more closeness than you thought you could have. Take time out each day to meditate and get in touch with yourself. That's really the bottom line here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you want to um, subscribe to my channel, you can get updates every month. I'll be doing a horoscope for a reading for you every month. I'll check you back in May. And I also do weekly updates that are posted, I think, around every Monday for the week ahead. Um, my website is right about there right now. If you click on that, you can book a reading with me. Otherwise, I will talk to you in May, Scorpio. Have a good April.